Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at how to solve a system of equations using the substitution method. Uh, in this case here we're going to focus in on solving systems of two equations, although this method here could be uh, generalized to solving a uh, system with more than two equations. So let's take a look at what we have here. Now first of all, we want to use substitution in particular circumstances and what we want to look for is if there's a variable that has a coefficient of either 1 or negative 1 in it. And we see here in equation 2, x has a coefficient of 1. The reason being is the first step for substitution is to isolate one of the variables. So we know that if uh, one of the uh, variables has a coefficient equal to 1 or negative 1, we won't end up with any fractions. So step 1 for solving systems by substitution is to choose a variable uh, to isolate. Now of course you could use it even if they all had coefficients but it would make the process a little more difficult. So step one here clearly equation two is the one to pick because the x variable has a coefficient of one. So the first thing I'm going to do is take equation two and I'm going to isolate x. So x here and I just take the 2y to the other side and I end up with negative 2y minus 10. And that's it. Just find a uh, variable and isolate it. Step two, and this is where the title of the method comes into play, is we substitute this expression in the other equation where we see x. So x is equal to 2y minus 10. Hence, anywhere I see an x, I can just now replace it with what it's equal to, which is negative 2y minus 10. So we always substitute into the equation we haven't used. So that's why here I have to use equation 1. So equation 1 is 4x minus 5y equals 12, whereas I'm going to now substitute x for its equivalent expression, which is negative 2y minus 10. And then I've got minus 5y equals 12. Now what I have is one equation with one unknown, and this is something I can solve. So we start by distributing the 4, so we have 4 times negative 2y, negative 8y, and then 4 times negative 10, minus 40, and minus 5y equals 12. Bring the y's together, so negative 8 minus 5, we have negative 13y, and then here we have 12 plus 40, so that's just going to be 52. And then to solve for y, we just divide 13, sorry, neg uh, 52 by negative 13, and that's negative 4. So now we've found the y value that will help to solve this uh, system of equations, but there are two variables, so we also need to find the x, and that's where step 3 comes into play. So step 3 is to take this y value and substitute it into an equation to determine the x value. Now, when you're solving a system of equation, you're finding the x and y that satisfies both equations. From a geometric perspective, we're finding the point of intersection between these two lines. That means the x and the y values are the same on both lines. So it shouldn't matter which equation we substitute this into. So the easiest one would be equation 2. And in fact, I've already isolated the x. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use equation 2 again. And I'll actually use this version where I've already isolated the x. So x equals negative 2y, but I know the value of y now, negative 4. Okay, and then minus 10. So here we have, that's a negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8 minus 10, and that's negative 2. Okay, so the solution is x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 4. Now, if I were being asked to uh, give the uh, point of intersection between the two lines, I should be giving that as a point. So the point of intersection here would just be negative 2, negative 4. And that's how we can solve a system of equations using substitution. 